we've got uh, this question of which we'd like to to work out to find the value of x looking at uh, what we've been given here this expression for us to find the value of x we first need to copy the way it looks it's really very important okay so after copying we say the power which is here okay must be put to both sides and this is a method you must follow this uh, it's a procedure so you say x power x and the power 2 there so the value the power that you are able to see here must be put there which is equal to 16 power a 2 so next is to simplify this side we shall have x power 2x power 2 which is equal to 16 power 2 okay hopefully you are able to see so now maybe your question may be how have i reached this point i've reached this point as a result of using the laws of indices when you've got uh, p to the power m raised to the power n of course your answer will be p power m n okay you just multiply the the powers so the same is what happened here we have got x power 2 and the power there so x power 2 multiplied by a 2 and this is what we got and uh, the main idea of doing all these steps is uh, to make this you see the way it looks look like this or these two things become similar so if you can see we have x power 2 and x power 2 here so we can break these two like this okay so this is what we have you can see that uh, this is similar to the power which is right here the next thing here will be to let y be equal to x power 2 okay so you see what i've done y is equal to x power 2 meaning we shall substitute y right here and here so we shall have y okay power y is equal to 16 power 2 so we are at uh, this point right here y power y is equal to 16 power 2 now from this stage from this stage we say y power y is equal to 4 power 2 power 2 our idea here is to make sure that uh, uh, what is here be similar to what is here and what is here be similar to what is here since this is y and this is y we need to make sure that whatever value is here is equal to the power which will be right here now how do we do that we need to be very smart so here here if we do this it will be difficult for us to use a 4 here 4 power 2 so let's try to do this. The smallest, we get the least uh, base. So 2 power 4, it will definitely give us a 16. 2 power 4 is a 16, power 2 here and the power 2 there. So after doing that, we are going to get these powers using the laws of indices. We multiply them. 4 times 2 is a 8. Okay? So now we find uh, the, or we do the trifactor of 8. So we know that 1 and the 2 there, because if we say 1 times uh, 8, we definitely get 8. 2 times 4, we'll get 8. So now, out of these factors, we, we, we pick which one should we put right here and here such that what is inside is equal to what we, the power that we have 
it's of course this set right here. If you're able to see the set which is here. So we're going to say y power y is equal to uh, 2 power 2. 2 on the power here, we put a 2 here. And right here, we'll put a 4. This other one, we'll put a 4. Okay. Now, if you're able to see nicely, if you're able to see nicely, you discover that uh, what we have here, y to the power y will be equal to, will be equal to 4 power 4. Okay. This is 4 power 4. And all this thing here will just give us the solution that we'll get when we say 16 power 2. It will be the same. It will be the same here. It will also be the same here. Okay. So this entails us that uh, the value of y is uh, 4. Here, 4. So we know that uh, y is equal to 4. Okay. So let's write it here. y power y is equal to 4 power 4. All right. So now we come to this point where we shall say y is equal to 4. But what have we been asked to find in the, in the question? It's x. We are trying to solve or to find the value of x right here, if you're able to see. Okay? So how do we get to find the value of x, provided we have found the value of y? We come to this point here, where we said let y is equal to x squared. So we substitute here. 4 is equal to x squared because we have the value of y which is a 4. So 4 is equal to x squared. Since 4 is equal to x squared, the value of x will be equal to 2 or negative 2. These are the two values of x. So how did I get to find that? Since this is a power 2 here, just square root both sides. And you find your x values to be equal to 2 or negative 2. And if you want, you can try. You substitute 2 here and 2 here, power 2, it will give you 16. You substitute negative 2, negative 2, and a 2 here, it will give you 16. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel.